What's going on, guys? I'm back uh, a little late than most people, but I have a I have my end of the year silver acquisitions. Um, some of them were a little late getting to me, so I wanted to wait till I had everything that I'd ordered before I made the video. Um, anyway, so I'll start off. A lot of this, some of the stuff came from eBay, Atmex, and just local areas. So uh, I'll go ahead and start off. Um, I'll start off with this. I picked up uh, a tube of um, the walkers. Pretty nice. Uh, some of them are like that and put some of the better ones on top. See, that's pretty nice. So yeah, I got some of them. I like the way they sound whenever you rustle them up. Moving on, uh, I got this from eBay. I've been looking at these for a while, and man, I tell you what, just like my on my other videos, I talk about the Perth Mints uh, silver bars. This is no exception. This thing is tiny in person. You can never really t tell on on the you know computer or the camera, but these things are tiny in person. Um, but it is one ounce of silver from Prospector's Golden Gems. pretty nice moving on um, hold on this came from Atmex um, I wanted to at least get one to check them out let me uh, take it out real quick hold on okay. this is the Rwanda Impala coin. I like watching Mr. Gold Seek's video. He says Impala. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is the, if you're from America, it's the Impala. Um, and uh, it's, it's a nice coin. I think these things are way, way overpriced. Uh, I think I paid $42 for this one. But they are very well packaged. I love the packaging on these. Very nice. And I know that adds to the price of these coins because you know they have to do this to all of them. But anyway, so that is the Africa, or the Rwanda Impala. This one actually just came in today. I've been. This was the last one I was waiting on. Um, I wanted to. I wanted one of the Dragon Privies for so long, and uh, they were just always so expensive, so expensive. So finally, I was like, you know what? It was the end of the year, and I wanted just to get a few things that I've been wanting. And I was looking on eBay, and these were all like 50, 60 bucks. Well, I found this one. Um, nobody had bid on it yet. It was at $49, um, and it's a SPS 69. They had some more in these cases, but they weren't graded. They were just, you know, brilliant uncirculated. They weren't the grade, like the SP 69 right there. So I saw this one and I put in just a bid um, of the you know the starting bid and nobody ever touched this so I got it for you know, like forty nine dollars um, and then the seller I got it from now is buying it or selling it now or you could do the buy it now for I think fifty five so I guess she saw that she needed up the I guess she wasn't happy with the price I got this for but that's the cost of doing bidding wars anyway the next one I got which I'll probably get more of these. Um, I watched a video on a guy the other night, and he made a pretty good point. Um, he said the price of these pandas right now, we should probably be buying a bunch of these. You know, they're pretty low. Um, probably these and the Britannias. I think I'm going to try to buy a few more. I, I want a tube of Britannias, the, the Mint Direct. I've always wanted some of those, and just haven't got around to getting them. I'll spend thousands on gold and stuff, but I can't come around to buying a $500 tube of those. But anyway, this is a 2014 Panda. It's alright. I like it better than the 2013. Pagoda. Anyway, it's pretty nice. The other one I got is just normal bullion coin, but I figured why the hell not. The 2014 Maple Leaf. Sorry, let's use my iPhone, of course, guys. So sorry. And it's got the little security feature, and it's got ridges all throughout the coin. See if I can 
show you all the light. Kind of see it right there, like up at the top up there by the A in the Canada. You can kind of see the ridges in the coin. But anyway, oops, sorry. Here's the front. You can see the ridges right there on the left by my thumb. Pretty neat coin. I mean, it's a bullion coin, so whatever, but I thought I'd get one of those. And the last few things, I've been wanting a Johnson & Matthew bar, 10-ounce bar, still in the plastic for so long. Um, and it's just one of those things I never brought myself to pay in, you know, $30, $40 an ounce just because it's sealed in the plastic, which I put it in this one, but it's in this... This one is in another, it's in the original mint plastic, but it's all ripped up. That's why you see the toning, which I think is kind of cool. But this one I found at a pawn shop, and I paid, silver right now is, hold on. Silver right now is about $20 an ounce. I paid $24 an ounce for this one, so $240. I figured why not, it was the last one he had. 10 ounce bars are hard to find right now, or it was before Christmas, I don't know how they are now. But uh, this one is the old variety. It's got the plain back, which which is one of the reasons I bought it. I said, why not? Um, there's another place I know that has one of these, too. It's a little worse condition, but I may go pick that one up, too. I don't know. Maybe not, because I'm pretty happy with what I got right here. Anyway, just quit being blurry. Um, so that's 10 ounces, Johnson Matthew. Then I was searching on eBay the other day, and I come across this. Johnson and Matthew bars, the newer one, but uh, this one um, still in the plastic. But not only that, there's two of them, and they're sequential. One nine two one fifty, one nine two one five one. I found these, and if you look on eBay right now, people are trying to sell these for $30 an ounce. You know, some people overseas are trying to sell them just for god-awful amounts, $600, $700 for a 10-ounce bar. I picked these up. This is another one of those things. I I came right into the middle of the bidding, and I, I paid, I think, $24.50 an ounce for these. So I paid right under $500 for both of these. So you can't you can't beat that. I mean, not for um, the one sealed. I know Atmex has some in stock right now. They're selling for twenty eight something an ounce, maybe almost twenty nine. And you factor in the shipping and all that. I got free shipping on this, so I am very 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 happy that I finally. And I've been looking for some of these for over a year. And I guess that just goes to show if you waited out and. Uh, you know, jump on it whenever you have the money, you know, it can happen. And I really didn't need to spend any more money for Christmas, but when I saw these, I, had, I just had to jump on it. And plus, you know, I mean, I don't characterize it as, you know, wasting money. I'm, all I'm doing is converting fiat into metal, so I can go sell some other trash silver if I really need the money. But anyway, so that's it, guys. I've got 30... Two, thirty-three, thirty-five, and then whatever that is. Oh, and then I, I got my dad a little one-ounce Johnson Matthew. I was at the coin shop uh, a while back, and I stuck into the Christmas card for him, but I won't count that as minus. So it's probably almost forty ounces right here that I picked up. So that was that's going to be my end of the year, which I bought it all before the end of the year. Just this and this took a while to get here <clears throat> the rest of it came pretty decent so anyway that's it that's my uh new additions and let me know what y'all think talk to you later bye